Joining us today on The Culture Catch, we're very honored to have Miss Vanessa Carlton. Before we let you get into Heroes and Thieves, mm-hmm. the Amit Erdogan connection. Mm-hmm. Now, Amit, for those of you who don't know, was the uh, founder, he and his brother founded Atlantic Records. And one of the great tragedies at Culture Catch is we didn't get our interview with Amit before he passed away. Mm-hmm. And he was a friend of a friend, and he had promised us an interview, but he was a true champion of music, he and his yes. brother. And one of the godfathers of the industry. Complete, a gentleman mm-hmm. always, you know, he, he signed Led Zeppelin to their deal, when mm-hmm. Rolling, the Rolling Stones left APCO, they went to Atlantic Records, mm-hmm. and I think Sticky Fingers was their first record. I mean, he really was a champion of the artists and always maintained the integrity. The artists were really foremost in his mind mm-hmm. when it came to making deals and allowing them that integrity and freedom to create their music mm-hmm. and find the muse in the music, even when perhaps the record sales themselves Mm-hmm. may have waned, but he stuck with the artist. How did you connect with him? What's, what's the... Um, well, Amit's the reason why I didn't go off to college right after high school, and I, I spent some time um, in the city just kind of playing clubs, and I, I again, I met him through um, uh, my father, who's a, a pilot, and, uh, <laughs> and a lot of musical connections, obviously, in my early life, my father. But um, he, I had this, speaking of this bare bones situation, I had this demo that we had worked on, um, and it was on a four track and a little cassette tape. And he, um, my father was flying Amit's best friend and gave it to him and um, he actually gave it to Amit. And Amit actually put the cassette into a player and listened to it. And then um, he called me uh, at ballet school. I remember coming up, I was 17, I was studying at the School of American Ballet and uh, there was a little post-it note on the red you know, those, those construction paper red bulletin boards. And it was like folded up and it says Omad. It said Omad called. I had no idea what she was talking about. And um, I called the number and I realized, uh, obviously when the secretary answers that I'm in the office, I almost had a heart attack. So that was my, um, my parents let me not go off to school. And it's, it's really one of the main reasons, I think, why this is not only my great passion, but um, what, what I do as, for a living, which is kind of a, a miracle. So thank you. So cheers to Amit. And how about a song for Amit? Yes, let's do that. And I, <clears throat> thank you all again for, for being here. This is such a lovely, like, wonderful resurrection of the salon. I'm so, I hope we, you guys have to do this every week with different people. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I'm looking for wisdom in all the wrong places But still wanna laugh in disappointed faces But you can't help me Blinded by these heroes and thieves at my door I can't seem to tell them apart anymore And just when I figured it out Well darling, it's you I keep moving along and hope I can get through this But maybe this song is the best I can do it So I'm patiently waiting on these heroes and thieves at my door I can't seem to tell them apart anymore And just when I figured it out Well, darling, it's you
somehow. A flicker of peace that I finally found. Thank you for believing in me now. Cause I 